guys, it's Bethany and I'm here to bring you my February favorites. I have some hair care, some body care, and some makeup. So let's get into the makeup because I know that's most people's favorite. So I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. If you recently watched my makeup basket for this last couple weeks, then you will have seen this product and I have been obsessed. So my skin has been super, super dry. I exfoliate and still it's just like flaky and cracky and it's just not cute right now. So I've been wanting a product that really um, still gives me that priming effect but doesn't give me any extra texture or extra like layer of product. And so this has been my holy grail product. Hasn't helped with the, you know, dryness or anything like that, but it doesn't make it worse if that makes sense. So it's just a great primer. I love that it's just a water, so it's super easy, but I do really feel like it holds on to your makeup and helps with keeping your makeup looking fresh all day long. Another primer, but for your eyes, is the Bare Minerals Prime Time, and this is something that I just threw into my makeup basket just because I wanted to get done with it. It's a tiny little deluxe sample of the product, and so I wanted to just get it out of my collection, and I fell in love with it. It is a wonderful, wonderful primer. It's got a cool kind of tan color, so it's almost kind of like the MAC Painterly Paint Pot where it does give you a little bit of pigmentation on your lid, and it's really thick, which I prefer in a primer. I'm not a huge fan of like the Urban Decay Primer Potions or ones that are really like oily and thin. Those are just not my, my jam. So something that's really thick like this and really helps to prime those lids, and it has like a little bit of a sticky texture, is my favorite type of primer. Since I've used all the primers in my collection, I will be repurchasing this. And I hope it's, I have like an outlet by my house that's bare mineral, so I'm hoping it'll be there so I can get a little bit cheaper. And then I have a e.l.f. product. This is the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. And so I actually haven't even used the eyebrow gel side of it. I've only been using the eyelash side, but it is a wonderful, wonderful brow gel. It's like super nice because it doesn't leave like your brows crusty. It really helps to keep them in place. Um, a little goes a long way, but there's not a ton of product in here. So I've been using this I think like two weeks and I'm basically already done with one side of it. So if this is one of the dollar products um, or something that is the three dollar line and I could get it for 50% off, I would just buy a ton of them. And then it would probably be affordable, but since it goes fairly quickly, you kind of have to balance that out because I know things like the Anastasia brow gel is one that people usually can keep even though it's like 22 bucks they can keep in their collection for a few months and still have it you know going strong so you kind of have to balance out the price but get me some ideas on some other brow gels because after this I am done with any ones that are in my collection and even though I'm on a shopping freeze I do purchase things that you know I need for my daily makeup so I would need to repurchase another one of these because I don't have any in my stash so I've heard the NYX one is really good um, let me know what you guys say with like a brow gel because I'm gonna need another one lip gloss that I think I got in an ipsy months ago before I canceled the subscription this is the Tarte Energy Lip Surgeon Skin Intuitive Lip Gloss. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be one of those glosses that kind of changes to the warmth of your lips, like makes it a little bit more of a brighter pink versus a light pink. It does have a light pinky tinge to it, but when you apply it to at least my lips, it's basically just clear. It might give a tiny hint of pink, but nothing too crazy. But my thing that I really like about this, it has a nice scent. It's a really cool kind of candy scent but it has like the coolest like gloss look. When I put it on, I really feel like my lips look super plump and like juicy and it looks like I've almost kind of gotten some, you know, Botox in my lips because they just look, they look really big and just different. And I will just use it by itself and I feel like my lips still look pulled together even though it's basically just like a clear gloss. It's really unique. I haven't found anything um, that, is kind of like this. 
So I really like it. Um, I don't know how much it is. It's probably like 22 bucks or so, you know, from the Tarte line. But I would be interested in repurchasing once I've completed it and I've completed a ton more of my lip products in my collection because it just has a unique look to the lip. So I really like this product. And then another lip product is just a Plain Jane Blistex. But the thing that is really amazing about this is the scent of it. It's the Orange Mango Blast. And I am telling you, it smells amazing. It is like, <laughs> I like keep on just wanting to smell it. When I put it on my lips, I'm just like obsessed. I use it as like my nighttime chapstick right now. And it's, you know, a good chapstick. Blistex is, you know, kind of on par of like, you know, chapstick brand. It's just nice to hydrate, good for your purse, good for at night, you know, when you're watching TV on the couch. It's a great chapstick, but the scent of this is just unbelievable. So go try this scent. Again, it's the Orange Mango Blast. So my unfavorite this month is something that I have really disliked for many months, but unfortunately I didn't return it. I was being stubborn and I thought that I could just end up liking it and it's just like several months into it and I'm so over it. It is the uh, Chic Intuition Pure Nourishment Shaver and I got it on like super sale. I had a deal at Costco. So I purchased it um, because the one that I love, that I wish I had just gotten and just, you know, done the money, is the Gillette Venus and Olay. So I thought they were going to be kind of comparable because if you see on this, there's kind of like this jelly type of, you know, cream, lotion-y material around the razor. So it gives you a really beautiful shave, um, but it also kind of cancels out the need for having a shower gel every time you shave your legs. And so I thought that this is going to be something similar because it has the same look. Um, it was bigger. I was like, oh, maybe it'll last longer. Um, I had very high hopes for it, but it is not good. So number one, um, the actual like lotion around the shaver doesn't last very long. It lasts like two weeks um, and then it's completely gone. And when you are using it, how it like uses down is so the shaver part of it, the actual razor, will kind of pop out farther than the lotion. So it's basically unusable anyway. So it's just, it's not, not good. And then the actual razors themselves, there's four blades. Um, and then there's like these weird like guards going down. So you don't get an even shave. You don't get a comfortable shave. It kind of pulls at the skin. Ugh. I just hate it. I hate it and I didn't return it and so now I feel like I just need to use it up. Um, I think I have, oh my lord, I have four more and I just put a brand one on there. Oh, So do not suggest this whatsoever. Just go for the extra money and get the um, Venus and Olay one. I think they usually have like different types of like the lotion-y material that's around the blade. Um, I think there's a purple one. I want to say there's a pink one. Um, all of them work for me. I love them. So this is like my all-time favorite shaver ever. It's more expensive and you don't get as many cartridges if you are going to go to like Costco, but it's well worth it. A lotion that I've been obsessed with this month is the Burt's Bee Mama Bee Belly Butter with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. I originally wanted it as a belly butter to kind of help when your growing belly gets kind of itchy and just dry and uncomfortable to kind of help soothe that. Um, and it does do a wonderful job at that. It's really cool because it's a light formula and I think it just has like a shea scent. It doesn't have any kind of crazy smell to it. It's a really light, thin formula, but it feels so cooling and soothing on your skin. It is amazing. I think it has helped with um, me not getting stretch marks too because I haven't gotten any so far. Um, but it's just so soothing. I really, really like it. And I put it other places, like I'll put it on my legs because since my skin has been really dry lately, on my arms. So it's not just needed for your belly. So I think this would be great for anyone, pregnant, not pregnant, male, female, just someone who's having kind of like that itchy, uncomfortable, dry skin to really help soothe it. So really love this product. It has been a lifesaver for me. And then two hair products. The first one is one that I've had in my collection for 
for a really long time. This is the Moroccan Oil Frizz Control. I'm really trying to work through a lot of my hair products, skincare products, body care products. I'm even thinking about maybe doing like a Project 10 Beauty where I am kind of really focusing on 10 beauty related products that's not makeup because I have so many in my collection that I want to work through. So this is just a really great spray to kind of spray in the morning or out the day if you just notice that your hair is getting a little frizzy and it just helps to kind of tame it a little bit. You know, it doesn't give you any kind of extra shine or um, it doesn't soak up any oils or anything like that. It just helps to kind of tame it a little bit which I have really enjoyed because I wear my hair like curly just natural normally or if I do like curl it with a a wand like I did a few days ago with this style um, you know I want to keep it for a while and I want to be able to have it not look like a frizzy mess so I'm almost done with this product so if you have a suggestion for like a frizz control type of spray or gel or anything like that please let me know because I will be needing one after I've used this one and a couple other products and then a, another product that I pulled out of my collection that I need to use up is the John Frieda Collection Root Awakening uh, Strength Restoring Hairspray. And I really like this product. I'm not sure if they still even have it on the market, but I've really enjoyed it for not only keeping hold to my hair if I'm just wearing it natural or if I have styled it in some way. It doesn't give any of that crunchy uh, feeling. It does give kind of a cooling sensation, which is really cool. Um, and I don't know, it's just a really nice hairspray that doesn't feel damaging or gross or heavy or just flaky, nothing of that nature. It's just been all around really great. I also do like taking it, um, just spraying a little bit in the palm of my hand and working it through the roots as well if I do feel like my hair has gotten um, frizzy throughout the day or in the morning. So those are my favorites and one unfavorite for the month of February. I will have my empties for February too. I don't know if that's going to go up before or after this video, so just keep checking on my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful month and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!